Hi guys, welcome to Jen's Crafts and Cakes. Today, we're going to make a Reese's Peanut Butter Pie. No bait. Are you ready? Let's try it. Hey guys, to make this Reese's Peanut Butter Pie, I have a graham cracker crust. You can get an Oreo one. You can get any flavored one you want. Okay. And first of all, we're going to need to heat up some hot fudge. So I'm going to go ahead and heat it up in the microwave real quick. You do need to be very careful heating up the hot fudge in the microwave with the glass because it will be hot. So make sure you have a an oven mitt to protect your hands. Okay, the recipe says half a cup of hot fudge to pour into the pie crust. I'm just going to eye it to see how much I want to put in. Um, and I put my hot fudge in the microwave. For first time, it was 30 seconds. And then 20 seconds the second time. Oh. And this is a 12 ounce jar. So let's see if we can just smooth it around. It's only supposed to go into the bottom, I guess. Yeah, I have not made this before. But I figured with Easter coming, might be something, especially if everybody's a big uh, Reese peanut butter fan, chocolate fan. Okay. So what... So as I'm getting the rest of the ingredients, I'm going to put this in the fridge so it can harden up a little bit, okay? Um, let me see. I probably used almost a cup, but that's okay. So some other ingredients you're going to need is eight ounces of cream cheese. You are going to need a cup of peanut butter. You could do with nuts or the creamy one. Two and a half cups of whipping cream. Um, a quarter cup of sugar. One and a half cups of Reese cups chopped up. Okay, so my metal bowl and my mixers are in a freezer. And my whipping cream is being chilled. So I'm going to grab them out now. Also, your cream cheese needs to be at room temperature. Okay, so here's my whipping cream. I'm going to use two and a half cups. Um, right now, for the next couple videos, I won't be showing my face. I had surgery on Thursday to have something removed from my head. So I'm all bandaged, but it doesn't mean I still can't cook and show you some great recipes. Tuesday, the 4th of April, it will be removed and then I will be able to do my videos the right way. But you're here to watch for some great recipes anyways. So, okay, so here's our two and a half cups of whipping cream. We are going to Beat it until we get some light peaks. Remember, you don't want to overbeat whipping cream because it'll turn into butter. So, I'll show you the forms that we need. Remember, it takes a couple minutes to form the peaks. Five minutes to um, beat the whipping cream to get our peaks that we need. So now I'm going to get another bowl and we're going to put cream cheese, the peanut butter and sugar together. Okay, so we need a quarter cup of sugar, one eight ounce 
of cream cheese. Okay, my eight ounce of cream cheese. And we need one cup. I'm using smooth or creamy peanut butter. So we need one cup. And then we're going to mix this all together. So I bet all your kids are getting excited for Easter this week. Plus their vacation they're coming to. Okay. I used to like it when my girls would go on vacation. But then sometimes you couldn't wait to go back. Because they got so bored being home for Easter. It's nice to have some time with them. Okay, so here is a cup of peanut butter. Okay. I'm going to mix this all together. So you want to do this until it's like smooth and... I would go with just a little softness to it, too, because you've got to fold in the whipping cream. Okay, so we have to add a cup and half of the whipping cream. There's one half of a cup. I'm, us I'm using a half a cup. There's another half, so there's my whole. And then... And we'll just overheat this one. The rest of the whipping cream you're going to put on top. There. I'm going to mix this in. Okay, and then it says you needed to have one and a half cups of chopped Reese cups. You're going to put a cup of these chopped Reese's into the peanut butter and whipped cream. Okay. Now I'm using my quarter cup. And then you're supposed to use the rest of it to decorate the top of the pie. So there's my cup of Reese's. We're going to mix it into the whipped cream and peanut butter filling. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get the pie crust out of the refrigerator. So here's the pie crust. And we're just going to spoon this in. This is a 9 inch um, graham crust, by the way. Because they do have like a, I think it's a 10 or a little bigger size. But this one's a 9. I, uh, I bought the, a 12 pack of snack Reese cups. And it actually made a cup and a half. And no, I didn't get a chance to eat any extra. Because I am a big Reese freak. I love my Reese cups. Let's see. 
make sure we get all that. And it's really not that bad to make, other than having to cut up the Reese cups, I guess. And if you can t find the really mini, mini ones, I think you could do that too. Okay, so that's empty there. Okay, and now we're just going to go ahead and add some Reese cups. I probably could have cut them a little smaller. The rest of the whipped cream that you made, you can leave off in case somebody doesn't want it. Um, or you can cover it. But if you're having guests over sometimes, not everybody likes whipped cream. Okay, so we have that. Now it says we're going to drizzle a little bit of the hot fudge over it. So it's cooled enough that I can do this. And if you do want to use the whipped cream for the topping, I would almost add a little bit of sugar to it. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of taste or add a little bit of vanilla. But for Reese's, I don't know how many people do whipped cream on Reese candy, so who knows? It's all how you like it. Not a wrong way. And then we're going to let this set in the refrigerator for a few hours and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you real soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Reese's peanut butter cup no bake pie try it out